Funko Fair 2021 is finally over. Well, hello YouTube. What's going on? Once again, it's your boy Mike McFly and you're watching the latest video of McFly Collectibles. Today's video, I'm going to be reviewing week two of Funko Fair 2021. Once again, I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts and opinions. And to me, I think they knocked it out of the park when it comes to the reveals. So without further ado, let's check out these Funko Fair Pops. What's going on Funko family? If you enjoyed this video and all my other content, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell to get alert on all my new content right away. Smash that like button down below and also leave a comment. Let me know what you think of today's video and Funko Fair 2021. So now we're gonna kick things off obviously with the movie line and Funko the first, uh, well not the first day, but <laughs> in the first day of week two, day five basically, Guys, the Goonies. Oh man, um, as I'm looking at this, I pre-ordered these Goonies except for the Target exclusive and Walmart um exclusive sloth. Uh, I pre-ordered these on Box Lunch, so supposedly the date, uh, as far as Box Lunch, is between the 17th, I believe, and the 27th of April. Hopefully these come in. Uh, these look awesome. Um, you know, especially Chunk, you know, with the belly when he's like, Ugh, like. <laughs> I think, I think like, this is one of my favorite movies growing up as a kid, and I still watch it to this day. I know a lot of you guys still watch it to this day whenever it's on TV. So uh, I, I think it's pretty good. I, I do have the Blu-ray of the Goonies, where I, the Blu-ray is, when you open up, it's a treasure. It's a treasure chest. That's hot. So I'm pretty happy. Uh, the next one is The Mummy. Now, I wasn't expecting this, but we have a Brendan Fraser pop. <laughs> um, he did movies like Blast from the Past, Bedazzle. So this is pretty cool. I'm not gonna go crazy. I think the mummy, the details of it, that's pretty hot. The way how they had him, have him look. But once again, you know, I was a fan of the mummy. I did see the movie theaters. It was packed. You know, I think 1999 this movie came out. So once again, I'm pretty cool pop. But I wasn't expecting for them to do the mummy pop. Next is white men can't jump. The two pack Target exclusive. I'm getting this. This movie. Uh, I, I have a famous line that every time when I get paid, you know, I joke around with my family and friends and I always say, we going to Sizzler. We going to, like, that That was in this movie because uh, obviously when you get money, you know, you, you want to go to a nice little fancy restaurant. You know, Sizzler's not fancy, but when you're in the hood, Sizzler was like a fancy spot. And in the movie, it, it was basically hustle, basketball, tournaments, you know, hustling to get that money. And when people saw this white man can jump Tupac, a lot of like old timers and people in my generation was like, yo, that's fire. Grab it. The young generation, they didn't, some of them knew, but some were like, what is this? They didn't know what well, white, white men can't jump. But this movie's from the 90s. Wesley Snipes, Woody Harrison, classic, classic movie. Next is Cool Runnings. Now, let me tell you something. This is one of my favorite Disney movies. I enjoyed this movie. I don't know why, but it's funny. Pretty funny. Jamaican bobsled team. Uh, it's a very good movie. The pops look pretty cool. John Candy looks on point, honestly, and I, I, I like it. So, would I be getting this? Maybe, maybe not. Don't know. But these, this pretty cool idea that Funko are, are basically taking this movie and turning it into pops. So, that's pretty cool. They should have a movie moment with the whole team on the bobsled. That would be cool. Next is Bram Stoker's Dracula. This movie, still to this day, it's not scary, but it was a very good movie, in my opinion. Um, I like the pop. Now, the two versions of the chase is pretty cool. You know, Dracula with his regular outfit and then him, the chase version is him licking the blade or the knife, I believe that's what it is. Uh, so that's, uh, that's all right. Now, the, the Funko Shop exclusive with his battle armor, basically, when he was in war, before he became Dracula, um, I just think, you know, the fact that the common version is without him, without the mask, and then... The battle version the, with the mask on is a Funko Shop exclusive. That's probably going to sell out, you know what I'm saying? But pretty cool looking pops. Surprised that Funko, you know, this should have been around Halloween time. These might most likely come out around Halloween time, once again, because it is Dracula. But not a bad concept that Funko took to make pops. And next is Fast and the Furious 9. I'm telling you right now, a lot of, a lot of people are tired of Fast and Furious movies. You know, it says F9, you know, the Fast Saga. This is John Cena and Vin Diesel. 
does not look like John Cena. But then again, John Cena now he let his hair grow. You know, uh, Vin Diesel obviously looked like Vin Diesel a little bit. These are looks like they're comments. So, but best believe they're gonna make more of these Fast and Furious pops. So, you know, uh, once again, this this movie will be big. So, you know, Funko was gonna take that that movie and make pops out of it just to milk it. Then you have Spike Lee. Now, this version of Spike Lee, I believe this is when he won the, um, from the Oscars last year or the year before. I think it was last year. Pretty cool uh, from the directors. If, there's a lot of people who co um, collect Funko directors. So this is no exception. He's a very good director. Once again, Spike Lee. It would have been cool if he would have had Jordans on. That Those supposedly are the gold threes, um, Air Jordan threes. That's what he wore during the, uh, the Oscars. But... You know, because he is a Jordan fan and he's used to be in Michael Jordan's commercials. But nice little concept that Funko took. A director that I wouldn't think they'll make a Funko Pop, at least right now. But you know what? Boom. We need a James Cameron Funko Pop as well. Next is Harry Potter. This character is called Patronus. Once again, I don't know. Not, like, I'm not into the Harry Potter universe. But I've seen some people get hype off of this pop. So, it looks cool. I like the details on it. The painting probably is going to look awesome. I know these Harry Potter fans are gonna get it. So this is from Wizarding World. Once again, you could pre-order these pops. So I'm not gonna get this one, but I'm sure my sisters, they definitely gonna grab it because they are big Harry Potter fans. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now it's day six of Funko Fair 2021, and that is TV shows. First TV show I'm gonna talk about is His Dark Materials. Heard of the show, never watched the show. And from what it looks like, each character has an animal of their own. And I think that that's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool concept. It makes the show looks interest, um, interesting as far as, like, for me. But uh, I think if you're a His Dark Materials fan, get the pops. Looks pretty cool. So, you know, once again, you can pre-order these pops right now. Next is a classic TV show that I used to watch, and that is Happy Days. Wow. I, I can't believe Funko is doing this. As I'm looking at this, you know, you got the Fonzie. I, I mean, I wasn't expecting Funko to do these pops at all. To me, this is Funko letting us know that they're going to do a lot of pops from classic TV shows, and that's always awesome to see. Next is a TV show that I never watched, and that is Frasier. I have a friend that used to watch the show, and he would say, he always say it was funny, but I used to look at him like, like, really? <laughs> like, it was just never, not my cup of tea, you know what I'm saying? People say it's funny. Um, this is a classic TV show, though, so once again, there are a lot of Frasier fans out there. You know, I think a lot of the the beef used to be between Frasier fans and Seinfeld fans. So, uh, me personally, um, it's a cool concept, once again, that Funko's doing. If you're a Frasier fan, get these pops. Now, next is a 6-inch Ninja Turtles pop that I pre-ordered right away and is exclusive to Entertainment Earth. And that is Krang. Guys, once this was revealed, I heard people were buying this, like pre-ordering this right away. Now, you can still pre-order this. I, still be um, I believe you can still pre-order this. This is fire. Finally, I, a lot of people in the fungal community, especially Ninja Turtle fans, were looking for this pop, were asking for this pop. And now we have it as a six inch character. This to me will be a future grill. Somebody in the comment section said they bought five. And they were, and they were, and people were like, yeah, buy five because this will be a grill. Hopefully it will be a grill in the future. Next is a TV show that I've been recommended by two of my close friends, and that is the Umbrella Academy. It is a very interesting show from what every time when I see previews of it, I, I will have to start binge watching it because I keep my one of my close friends keeps telling me, what are you waiting for? Watch it. A lot of the fans in the fungal community, especially on the comment section, were hyped when they saw these reveals. There's a lot of people who collect Umbrella Academy pops. I know some of them. So these look pretty cool to me. You have the Target exclusive Glow in the Dark. That looks fire. I don't know these characters' names. I'm not going to butcher the names. I don't know. But these pops look hot. I'm not going to lie. So, um, guys, I know there's a lot of Umbrella Academy fans out there. I know I'm going to have to watch the show. But get these pops. This will be cool to add to your Umbrella Academy collection. Next, you have G.I. Joe. Now, I'm going to get some of these G.I. Joe pops. I'm not going to lie. You know, these pops look fire. I, I just like it. Storm Shadow looks cool. I, I just, the Funko Shop exclusive looks cool. Everything. Everything with the G.I. Joe Hasbro, uh, it's just awesome. I know a lot of G.I. Joe fans was hype about it. I was semi-hype because I am a G.I. Joe fan. You know, I'm, I'm into more Transformers than G.I. Joe, but I'm going to get this. I'm going to get some of these pops, not going to lie. Also, when it comes to the G.I. Joe, is a GameStop mystery box. At this is uh, Transformers and G.I. Joe. 
And to me, the Transformers one looks kind of silly because they took a regular Optimus Prime and Megatron, and all they did was just add like weapons at their hands. I, I, I guess I don't know. I, I it comes with the key um, pin. I guess the keychains. You know, you have the other two GameStop exclusives from um, GI Joe. So I mean, nothing too crazy, but people will buy these mystery boxes from GameStop because they are GameStop exclusive. And I think GameStop. The only reason why GameStop is around besides that whole stock market thing that's going on is because Funko keeps making exclusives for them, honestly. I think Funko's keeping GameStop alive at this point. <laughs> Next, you have The Office. I know you guys are big Office fans. You guys are gonna get this. I already know it. You have a few chases. You have a GameStop exclusive. You know, oh man, like, you have a Welcome Phyllis, Creed, Ryan, and Oscar. Like, these pops were the ones that people were asking for, and now you guys are gonna get it. If I was you guys, Pre-ordered these right away, and when it comes to these limited editions and chases and certain stores like exclusives to GameStop or Walmart, please, guys, you you guys already know. Just go after them because when it comes to the Office Pop, I believe that this is one of Funko's hottest line out there. If it's not anime, it might. And besides Marvel and for sure Star Wars, I think this is in the top five for Funko as far as their like the, what they're making money with as far as lines. The Office line is up there to me as top five because they always selling out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and now it's day seven of Funko Fair 2021, and it's the animation line. So the first one I'm going to show you guys is Dilbert. Don't know who this is. Uh, I guess it's a pretty cool looking pop. If you ask me the way how the details, it looks on point to the character, because when I seen the character, the pictures, after I saw this pop, I was like, oh, wow, it's on point. So once again, I believe Funko doesn't get it wrong when it comes to these animation lines. Some of them they might, but they're mostly on point when it comes to the details. Next is... Uh, what is this? This is Line Friends. Don't know what this is. Not gonna lie. So, you know, there is a Funko Shop exclusive that is Flock. People will probably buy that. Uh, I guess this is mostly for the kids. Don't know who it is, but if you collect this, um, if you watch the show Line Friends, collect these pops. Next is Super Chicken. I have heard of this show. Never watched it. The only show one, so I don't think it's exclusive to anything. It's probably a common. But once again, animation line. Details are on point. So if you watch Super Chicken, get this pop. <laughs> then you have a TV show called Solar Opposites. Now, the details are okay on it. Some people were saying that they look a little freaky when it comes to the details. But when I saw the like the way how the car characters look, to me, another another good job at Funko when it comes to the details on it because it's on point to me. Um, I don't know. Uh, Basically, this is a collection that I won't get, you know, once again, I'm being honest with you guys I don't know some I don't know most of these shows when it comes to animation line So I'm so used to the throwback shows like Transformers GI Joe even Street Fighter Mortal Kombat stuff like that, you know So this is like for I guess the generation from like the late 90s early 2000s that remember this show or watches this show So once again, ladies and gentlemen, if you watch Solar Opposites get these pops Next, you have a show that I have seen before a couple of times, and that's Rick and Morty. There's a lot, a lot of Rick and Morty fans out there. And these pops, honestly, they might sell out. You have a Funko Shop exclusive that's going to sell out, in my opinion. You have a super size pop, which I'm not sure if it's a 10-inch or a 6-inch. That's going to sell out. You have a Target exclusive. These Rick and Morty pops, most, most of the time, they sell out. So, best believe, if you're a Rick and Morty fan, get these because this will be a hot commodity once these are basically released to the public. Next, you have another TV show called Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. Once again, never heard of it, but if you, you know, some of these pops, you know, and that's why I, I didn't go, I wasn't that excited when it comes to day seven because a lot of the pops, I said, oh, they look pretty cool. Don't know half of them when it came to day seven reveals. But if you watch the show Foster's, uh, Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends, get the pops. Now, a pop that people have been asking for and to me, Funko dropped the ball a little bit on it, is Clifford the Big Red Dog. Now, right now, it looks like it's just a regular four-inch size pop. You have um, Pop and Buddy, which is Clifford, and then you have the Flock exclusive, Hot Top exclusive, Clifford. That's gonna be fire. I'm definitely gonna grab that one. But they need to make a 10-inch uh, Clifford. Honestly, an 18-inch Clifford. <laughs> Straight up, because the dog was big, you know. Uh, I I used to, you know, not really watch the show that much, and the and the books, not really too crazy about it, you know, as a kid. But it was just something, you know, my my sister when she used to babysit when I was young, she'll put it on. So uh, 
I think it's a pretty cool concept, honestly. It took Funko a while to make this pop, but honestly, so far, it looks pretty good, at least in the pictures. Next, you have the Minions, and this is from the Miz Minions 2, The Rise of Gru. And Minion Pops, it's up and down when it comes to will it sell out, will it not sell out. Um, these Pops look pretty cool, honestly. There are people that collect these Minion Pops. So if you're a Minions fan, and I know there's a lot of you, get these Pops because it could sell out, it might not sell out. Next is Avatar, The Last Airbender, but it's the pens. Now, some people were complaining, saying, we need Pops, where's the Pops? These right here are just Pop pens. Uh, I'm sure they're going to do Pops. It's going to happen. But these pins look pretty cool, especially that Chase Airbender. That that Chase is fire. That looks lit. I'm not even going to lie. I don't collect the pop pins. They are pretty cool, though. But a lot of people are asking for the pops. So, But the pins, people are collecting the pins, too. I see that going up. Just like Funko Sodas, I see the pop pins going up little by little as far as value and collecting because a lot of people are collecting these pins. Now, to, the me, to me, the one that stole the show on day seven was the Godzilla pops guys i pre-ordered the fye exclusive glow in the dark godzilla where he's spinning out his on fire i pre-ordered that right away uh the two-pack bam it's right it's a regular king kong with a regular godzilla they just put in a two-pack you could get that one but i have issues um ordering from bam sometimes because i ordered a dr seuss and both times it came broken so it, when it comes to bam i just you know most of the time i get something from the like resellers or like from the resale market, you know, somebody that I know, whatever, and I won't pay a lot, but I just have a hard time with BAM sometimes. But otherwise than that, that Walmart exclusive, these, these 10 inch pops is, oh man, guys, they fire. I'm not going to lie. The whole color on it, the details. Funko did a great job with Godzilla vs. Kong. I'm going to see the movie, you know, but they did awesome, just awesome work on these details. I love them. Honestly, I love them. I might get a few of these. All right, so now day eight of Funko Fair 2021 was nothing but Disney. And I know a lot of people were hype. So once again, the first one I'm going to show you guys is Rhea and the Last Dragon. People, for some reason, I'm not going to lie, didn't know. Like, you know, I have, a, I have a sister who watch Disney. You know, she has Disney Plus. She loves Disney, everything Disney. Even if it's something brand new, she sits there and watches it. And honestly, when she saw this, she said these pops look pretty cool when it comes to the characters. So I think, honestly, I don't, once again, this is new. Let me know in the comment section below if this is something new from Disney, Ray and the Last Dragon. I know there's a movie coming out, I believe, something like that. So let me know. But I think this looks pretty cool. The Walmart exclusive character that's a glow in the dark, that looks fire. I'm not going to lie. So once again, some people were hype. So if you're a big fan of the, sh whatever this is, if it's a movie TV show, get these pops. Next, you have a flocked Winnie the Pooh. And this is a Valentine's version of Winnie the Pooh with him with the wings, with the bow and arrow, with the heart on it, a flock, Hot Topic exclusive. And to me, Hot Topic exclusive always gets the, the Winnie the Pooh from what I've seen. I have a few Winnie the Pooh pops. So, and they're all Hot Topic exclusive, most of them. So this is pretty badass to me. I might not get it, Maybe, you know, this is a cool gift for ladies out there, especially those um, ladies like, they like Winnie the Pooh a lot. So this is a cool Valentine's gift, something small just to give to your partner out there because I like it. I really do like it. Now, next was a teaser for me, and I think it teased a lot of people, and it's the Pop Pins Roger Rabbit. Funko, I thought you was going to make Pops. What's going on? I really thought these were Pops at first. And then when I looked at the details and then the, 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 basically the description, it was pins. I was upset, man. Um, I wish these were pops. They do have the OG pops, but it's hard to find a Roger Rabbit pop, a set that is in mint condition boxes, or at least near mint condition boxes, because I've seen a lot that were damaged, you know? So I, I would like to just Funko make, you know, do another line of Roger Rabbit pops. You know, these pins are pretty cool. People are still going to buy these. There's a lot of Roger Rabbit fans out there, including me. But I just wish it was Pops instead. Next is another Disney Pixar product, and it's Luca. Don't know who this is. Don't know what it is. But it's a Pixar product. So, you know, I don't know. It looks funny to me, the details from the pictures. But, you know, once again, Disney, they're going to make their money when it comes to overall. Funko is going to make their money overall as well, as well when it comes to these Disney Pops. Next is a... Walmart exclusive Disney artist series Mickey Mouse. 
these are supposedly all Walmart exclusives. So once again, it's going to be hard for me to get. But there's five of them. So I don't know if these are going to have trade value, value in general. Because there's just going to be a lot of them. Um, I do like the sky blue version and the purple version. Because purple and sky blue is like one of my favorite colors. But I just like the way how they look. But at the same time, I just think it's five of them. So I'm not sure how these will sell. But to me personally, you know, it's Mickey Mouse. Most likely they will sell out though. Now next, which to me, there's too many of them, but Funko is still gonna make them because they're obviously selling and that's Stitch. Guys, uh, these Stitch Pops, Lilo and Stitch Pops, they look funny to me personally. Stitch to me is like another Deadpool. There's just too many Stitches out there. But which they are, there's an FY exclusive Stitch. There's a Funko Shop exclusive that also has a Chase Stitch. There's a flock stitch at a, only at Target. You have a flock keychain, a hot top exclusive keychain. I, I mean, there's just so many stitches that, you know, once again, these will sell out. There's a lot of people who like stitch. So to me personally, these are going to sell. Once again, Funko's going to keep making characters because they're going to keep selling. Next, you have Alice in Wonderland. People are hype about these. I saw in the comment section. I'm not a big Alice in Wonderland fan. So once again, these characters are classic Disney characters. Uh, they, they These will sell as well. These will sell as well. Because I believe the Target exclusive ones, you know, the 65th anniversary, something like that. Those are selling. I remember people was getting those and there was pictures all over the place. But see, when I went two weeks after the release where I live at my Target, maybe they just got them in. They were, they were sitting around. Like, they, they was like, not sitting around, but there was like three or four in great condition just sitting there. So, I'm not sure they still sitting in certain spots and certain targets around the country. But I know there's Alice in Wonderland fans, so they could definitely grab this. Then you have a Amazon exclusive Minnie and Mickey Mouse artist series. And, I mean, to me, they're artist series. I don't think, yeah, they don't, they're not calling them artist series, but they do look like artist series. These will sell out. These are going to sell out. Uh, Minnie Mouse, Mickey Mouse, I, I'm not, they're not selling as a two-pack, right? No, they're not selling as a two-pack from what I'm seeing here. But these look pretty cool. Uh, these will sell out. In my opinion, they're just going to sell out because, once again, it's Mickey Mouse. <laughs> now you have Pinocchio. They have a band exclusive diamond collection. Uh, well, yeah, band exclusive diamond collection, pin, um, Pinocchio. Not Pinocchio, Jiminy Cricket, but as far as the line. And then you have a Chase version. This is, this is going to sell out. Uh, when it comes to Pinocchio, it's going to sell out. Uh, I like them. I, I do like Jiminy Cricket. You know, everything else is a common, but honestly, this is fire. You know, maybe Funko, it, we was waiting a long time for Funko to release these Pinocchio Pops. And it came out the right time, me personally. Especially that New York Comic Con exclusive Jiminy Cricket, which a lot of people didn't buy right away. I mean, it did sell out, obviously. But the value on that is up and down. But these, for some reason, I just think they're going to sell out. That's just my opinion. And now, ladies and gentlemen, day nine, the final day of Funko Fair 2021, was nothing but music and DC Pops. So, the first one I'm going to show you guys is Aaliyah from the music line. They finally made this pop. Uh, I wasn't a big fan of her. Like, I was a fan, but not like no, you know, not a crazy fan of hers. She did make great music, a beautiful voice, and a lot of people are happy that this pop is finally coming out. So, well-deserved. Fans out there are going to get this. This this pop actually might sell out because she is, her voice, still to this day, people listen to her music, great music. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, Aaliyah is a cool looking pop that Funko did. Next from the music line is ACDC from the pop album. And this is from Highway to Hell. This is one of the greatest rock bands of all time. I saw people in the comment section already pre-ordering this. So once again, I'm hearing that these pop albums, they do take up space in your collection. So... That's why people are picking and choosing which album. But right now, Funko is hitting on the ballpark because a lot of these album pops, like the pops, people are buying them because these are the albums that they like from rock, hip hop, R and B, so even pop music. So this is this is pretty cool that Funko did. Next, you have Motorhead. Once again, this is pretty cool as well. This is from the album Aces of Spades. Ace of Spades. This is badass as well. I seen people pre order this. So once again. I think when it comes to these pre-orders when the pop albums, you got to jump on them, honestly, because they do sell out. Straight up, they do sell out in certain stores and locations. Now, next one I thought was pretty funny, and that's Britney Spears. She has two of them. She has from the song Toxic, and she has from Oops, I Did It Again. Will these be grails? Not sure, because right now, when it comes to her music, I haven't really heard anything new, honestly. Uh, but she is. she was definitely 
a trendsetter back in the early 2000s, you know, late late 90s, early 2000s, then she went crazy. But this is cool. You know, I, I think it's pretty funny. Will I buy it? Maybe my boy joking around. I don't know if he was serious, but he was like, I'm buying it. I'm buying it. Come on now. Who didn't like Britney Spears? Yeah, everybody had a crush on her. And this is when the time where people had crushes on her. I had a crush on her when I was younger. But this is pretty cool. I thought it was pretty funny that Funko actually took two of her songs and made them into pops. I think that's pretty funny. Now, next is the DC line. And it's Wonder Woman. The yo the pop the pops are in great details. They have a PX exclusive and a chase version to the PX exclusive, which is a glow in the dark. People want that, so there was already people pre-ordering these PS exclusives. And I'm not sure this one is limited because you know sometimes PS exclusive have limited number, like twenty thousand, twenty five thousand. This is fire. This is good. This is cool. I like the details on it. So me personally, these won't sell out, but they will sell straight up. Now you have the pop pins from the DC line. You have Cyborg, Wonder Woman. You have a all gold Wonder Woman chase pen. That's pretty hot. You have the Flash and you have Superman. Once again, these will sell out as well. I'm telling you guys, the value is, I think it's getting higher when it comes to these pop pins. I see people buying them, especially on the whatnot auctions. I see people bid on them. And then when you see how they look up close, they do look great in details. My problem is to, for me is that they're just big for a pin. <laughs> but... I think these will sell as well. Now you have the Flash. And this is the Flash Fascist Man Alive. That glow in the dark. GameStop exclusive. I'ma buy that. You have a Funko Shop Flash. Glow in the dark. That's fire. The, the detail. People were hype about these pops. And I don't blame them. For DC fans and for just even Marvel fans and collectors in general. They saw this reveal and they were like, they gotta grab them. I like them. I would definitely try to grab them. As far as pre-orders, I'm gonna head to um, Think Geek here in the city and try to pre-order this GameStop exclusive. As, as far as the Funko Shop exclusive, you already know that's gonna be randomly dropped whenever. But that GameStop exclusive, I just like the glow. If the glow is really like that, I'm yo, I'm getting it. Now next is what people were hyped about as well, and that is the Superman Action Comics pop. This is this is pretty cool concept by Funko. I didn't think I, this never crossed my mind. Crossed my mind. They did the pop albums. Now they're going to do the vinyl co um, comic cover. This is fire. You know they're going to do Spider-Man, Batman, X-Men, uh, you know, uh, Deadpool. You know they're going to do, especially Deadpool. They're probably going to be like 10 Deadpools. <laughs> but this is fire. I did pre-order this. So I'm, this one, I believe, is going around between $15 and $16, depending on what site. This is fire. And it's not too bad. I think the pop will probably be like a... It won't be as wide, obviously, as the pop albums, but it'll be good enough. Me, personally, it might, it might be close to an 8-inch, 9-inch um, pop. Um, like Not the pop itself, but the box itself might be 8, 9 inches high. So that's pretty cool, though. I like that Funko did that. This is something new in the Funko community. This is very cool. Well, there you have it, Funko family. Showed you guys my thoughts and opinions of Funko Fair Week 2. Whew. It's a lot of talking, a lot of pops. A lot of my thoughts and opinions on these. I think they knocked out of the park as far as week two. Um, some characters, actually a lot, I didn't know about. You know, I'm sorry guys if, you know, I, maybe I didn't, I don't get into full details of, of these characters that I didn't know, especially from Disney or the animation line actually. But uh, me personally, collect what you like, collect what you love, that's what I do. And, um, and even if you like something and you're not a big fan of the show or movie or musician or TV, you know, just, anything at all but you just like the details it's cool to collect as well because sometimes collecting pops gets you into that line you know i know people who don't watch star wars collect the pops and because they were collecting the pops they got into star wars they got into marvel so you know once again the umbrella academy the pops look awesome i've been told to watch it i'm sorry guys i haven't been watching the umbrella academy never seen it my best friend, he gets mad because i still haven't seen it but i do have to watch it i just have to take that chance and watch it because it does it looks like my type of show. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me know in the comments. Did you pre-order anything from Funko Fair week two? I know week one, somebody in the comment section said that they almost basically spent $1,000. <laughs> wow. You know, uh, and let me tell you something. That person, I don't think they're going to charge you right away. Some they might, but some, I don't think they're going to charge you to like March, April, May, so on and so forth. But if you pre-order, you know, any of these guys, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know if you guys. I know I pre-ordered the Goonies. I told you guys. And as far as the Flash, I'm going to pre-order that GameStop exclusive. You know, Disney, I might pre-order. Obviously, the pre-order sold out when it came to the Amazon exclusive Minnie Mouse and Mickey Mouse Artist Series. 
but I will try to get my hands on that as well to do a video. So guys, a lot of pops. Let me know if you enjoy Funko Fair 2021 in general. I thought it was pretty cool. So many pops. People's wallets were broken. My wallets I saved, you know, because I could I believe I can get some of these in stores and online when the dates, when the release dates come out for each pop. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for taking time out your day to watch me, Mike McFly. You're watching my Funko Fair 2021 review. This is McFly Collectibles. Till then, I'm out.